and NIP just steamroll into the A-bomb site. As you pointed out, VP was set to play retake here. I like this from Hampus, waiting for mid-aggression. That's a free kill out of that position there. And so now with the bomb planted, this is where the lack of kit really starts to matter to VP. They've got to be fast in the retake. Three out through CT and into the open. Device has got the information that they're in the site now, and he's tapping players out. Good for one. Plopski going to respond even further. Bomb's not planted for these players in connector. Ramp is the only guy that can watch it, but sadly for Jame, he's not able to capitalize on that. Oh, on HP, and he's just looking for the save, but even that's denied. NIP, they grab that pistol. NIP, they're going into the A stack here. Five CTs in position, but three of them not really on for the job. James Dunn, not really covered from Palace. That's a bit awkward. Kicker tucked in, and all oh, the shots from the Deagle come what? out of nowhere. Two frags. How's he done that? This can get out of hand now. This is a rough round all of a sudden. Kicker has made it deadly. NIP, they screech to a halt, and now they wait, hoping that just going quiet here is enough to shift players out of the site and maybe into their eye line. Kicker has oh. repositioned and is on to a third kill in the round, but it's traded immediately from device. Armorless should be able to tear through them. You can just got a gun. Oh, and he's got a freebie as well. Device tucked in at the back, and they should be able to work it out. It's a default plan. How far could he really be? VP. Oh, they've sweated this round for everything it's worth, and they're going to pick it up. You're never meant to. I'm very, very glad we get to see the replay of this. Look, man. Oh, brutal. Brutal scenes out of kicker. Yeah, he's the early alarm. How many can Sanji get before he perishes up in the apartment? Sanji oh, gets the spot, but not a kill found. Now called for these rotations around, and there is already a man in the site. Buster, gonna have to fight tooth and nail to hold on to this one. There's the first, but he's very, very low in the process. Oh, the nade finds him. And we're into a three on two. Jame is still a long way away from this site. Yakinda, the only wow. man here, dead to device. And it's a save for Jame. They, you know, pulled it up in the series against Gambit. They lost it, uh, and it went to three maps. They lost the series. But to the more empty bomb site out of the two, and they've not even really received any kind of knowledge to make them lean this way. They blindside kicker a ramp, and suddenly Buster back in CT, Ooh. responsible for an awful lot. Getting naded, getting flashed. Rez is holding four rotations and Buster's on a timer. Takes one more out of the round and he's still fighting for this control. The Orps, they've done everything so far. They've got to keep on achieving if VP want to have any chance to win this round. When a double orb is in play, James could be anywhere by now. Oh, Rez just turns. James gets through the murder hole. This is dangerous now. Oh, the cover with a missed shot. Buster and James still pick it up for a second. NIP are walking up. Sanji's going to drop the smoke, and now here come NIP. Yeah, they're already in. Oh, oh, Plopsky roasted and finished off by the MP9 as Sanji. Buster is the right hook oh. to this double backside setup. Hampus trying to do what he can, activating this mid lurk, but Buster is not missing a beat. He's going to now clash with Device, who's also oh. adorning the AWP. Ah. They're just missing each other. Device, he's seen an arm. <laughs> Once again, ring around the roses, finally. It's Device smelling flowers as the bomb plants in. And Kicker left in the 1v2. It eventually finds him, and yeah, James commands the orb save. Kicker will obey. But another B play goes well for NIP. They're good at getting back into here and man disadvantages. Nice flank from Hampers. That was everything as well. It was so much pressure. He gets two kills, but then Buster the entire time is so tunneled in, so focused on the kitchen, the device is able to do this. And there it goes. Yeah, this AWP in device's hands, man, it's starting to uh, really come alive. I haven't actually seen much out of James AWP yet. Oh, there it is. Come on, Jabe. Come on, Jabe. Device has had a good start to the round. James, re James replied. Linus and Plopsky left. It is now a two on three. They are in this A bomb site, but they don't have the utility to block these CT peaks. So someone's got to cover it. The respect is given.
And actually, Plopsky looks like he wants to try and challenge for some of this. Yeah, I was going to say, that's pretty ballsy out of Plopsky. He will just play it safe. Linus dead in connector. Ooh. And Plopsky sandwiched between the two. Been spotted as well. That's the bomb going in second. So Sanji knows what's up. Buster's already here to put a stop to it, but the smokes are down. Linus trying to find this backside play. He's disappeared in the smoke. Sanji buying so much time for Yakinda to come out market, and they are getting diced and sliced here in the B site. Only device. Time to save. Oh, and James, James, the only guy who's allowed to save orbs. Didn't you get the memo? Oh. We know this team to be extremely slow on the T side. Well, same to be said right here, right now. Not wanting to feed the pistols. James got to be careful. They're coming out under. And Yakinda trying to cover, but it's a missed shot. Sanji Ooh, makes up for Jay. it. They know James low. The call's been made. Device can't catch him with a jumping block. But Rez oh will God. grab Yakinda. Don't tell me this round is going to get out of control. The bomb's been dropped, but Hampus has his player locked in on short. Sanji, if he goes back, he's a dead man. Yeah, Sanji's towing a very awkward line, right? Can't go back, can't oh. go forward. And eventually Hampus gets the better of him. Now that bomb has a path up through short. Device Surely still not. down here in middle. He's out of there. And really, oh. if Jane can't catch nice. this, okay. Now you're reinvested. Now you're up for the retake on the VP side of things. Hampus with this AWP. Kicker is going to be feeling a lot of the pressure here. What with Jane tagged up. And so we're looking at Kicker. Oh, Linus is also looking at Kicker. <laughs> and Linus has given him some tech tips what? there. Tapped him out of the round. And NIP are up on a seven. That was a Felico. That, that was, was a Felico. Three Glocks. Oh. Three Glocks. No armor. Deagle P2. And they get it with no and survivors. And they kill James. Oh, yeah. my. Yeah, as this has happened, Sanji has pushed short to see if he can spot Hampus. And Sir James is alone in the site. Sanji helping out, has turned around from the short side and comes back now. And opportune timing. The Deagles are doing it to an IP. 40 seconds. Rez and Hampus to try save the day. Three Deags in the site. Buster waiting back in market as well. So many crosshairs looking at oh. you as you try to come out. And for low HP Hampus, man, this round, he's recognizing it now. It's sailed by the wayside. But yeah, I, that's that's a hilarious round for VP. They are very happy about it. Look at the AKs that have been scavenged. Hampus does hold on at least. That was the one guy who didn't have a gun, so it's not a worry for Sanji. Everyone else is armed. And yeah, brutality towards B. Even though Kicker doesn't get that kill, maybe it's position-based. Yakinda has that mid spawn. He's gone back and under. Has found value from this position already. He's going to care about the lower drop. The flash comes in, and Plopsky headshots him immediately. Meanwhile, NIP are taking mid. They're going to smoke off Jame. Oh, and push him as well. Full blinded. Bust is trapped now on ladder. They've got him locked in a corner, but he still fights his way out with three. That's disgusting from Buster. Four on two. This was an NIP round. Blink and you miss it. It's done. Yeah, everyone's watching now. Plomsky, mate. Everyone's looking at you. And Kicker, sadly, is included in that list. Seven to eight. VP. Oh, look at all the space they found. Yeah. Now, will Jane be ready oh. for Rez? No, he hits that timing well and knocks him out of the round. Now VP are going to hit the go button in towards this B site. Plopsky will go unchecked and all oh, they run by him. Device is another nasty surprise, pounces out. And that bait and switch and switch over towards B works wonders for NIP. Yeah, they turned it on all right. Oh my goodness, flawless round. There is this oh, double no CT idea. rotate, but they don't know the site's oh, lost yet. What? Still, Plopsky's going to check it. Cognizant that they gave up the A-bomb site. He was always scared of the possibility. Now, they don't know about Buster. And Buster's playing the long game here, waiting in the site, hoping that as an IP move back in, he can catch players trying to set up the defense. He does deal with Plopsky. Minus even going to get mollied over here on ticket. But it's a little shallow. Whoa. Boy, they're burning him all right. Rez is coming on a mid lurk while everything was going on. Remember Rez, he dropped down in lower tunnel earlier on. Well, here he is at ramp trying to make a big boy play. And Rez, there's a double on his plate. He lets what? Sanji go by. Oh. <gasps>
He could not have predicted this. Sanji doesn't know how he's just died. Rez, the timing king, Molly up into Palace, and James been dethroned. Linus gonna grab the defuse, and it's one hell of a flank, one hell of a trigger discipline out of Rez to find 12 for NIP. Device on the AWP back and ticket. Jump in the window. Hampers is waiting. Oh, oh and he's very ready. Yakinda's gone. Now the jungle smoke. They're going to get past Hampers at least. Device is giving up Edo, as said, so he can play retake here. He's grabbed a quick kill. Hampers has spammed Sanji coming through the smoke. And Device, oh, he's seen a rap player as well. All the info here for Nip and all the shots connecting as well. Jame, don't want to say it. There's only 20 seconds, mate. James, the only guy with any cash, but even then he needs that 1900 to get a buy in the round after next. So, you know, we're going to see 13 appear up on the board. They need to embark on an insane comeback. They are at a big disadvantage here. <laughs> wow. You're not fully invested other than Sanji. Everyone else can buy next. Well, James, that's a hero play. That's more of what we need from VP. Walking through the ramp smoke and killing Hampus where he stands. Kinda looking for picks up on the A site. He might get it. Rez is coming his way. Lovely stuff. Two rifles, two openers here for VP. Yeah, device on the ramp. There's not really much util to get players off angles. James, that's a big kill onto Linus at the back of the site. And device needs to this hit. Kill this kill matters. Oh, he turns. Oh. He turns. Popsky's killed Yakinder at least with a bomb. Is leaving ramp. They realize both CTs are here. And VP, they don't have a lot of time, but they will make it towards B as long as NIP can't stop them. Plopsky trying to do so, but they're already running out of middle. Plopsky needs this frag for the round to be winnable, and it's not now. Device looking to save surely in the one-on-four. Bomb is here just in time, and good reaction from VP. They realize they're walking into a stack, and they avoid it completely. So but he takes his eyes off a ramp as the peak comes in, and as you say, really good reaction out of VP. These guys are good at their timings, you know, like they... Even though they are a slow, methodical team, they don't often fall into, like, the remit of, you know, like, Na'Vi, where they run out of time. Shame. This is a round-winning position. Oh, a missed shot, though. And they can get closer. Or do they want to waste time doing so? Because this bomb is still yeah. ticking. I think now they, they know at this point. Now they if know. they don't immediately stick, they lose the round. Yeah, but they're getting on the bomb. They're fighting in the sight. Sanji's still here, but they're sticking it. Linus is still on the bomb. Device with the kill. James oh, no. needs it. No, James just going to save the day. Ha! Oh! oh I didn't like it. No. I didn't like it, but James does save the round. Oh, it's it around. certainly wasn't pretty. It's around, though. It's around. We take it. We forget about it. Oh, my God. If that missed shot cost them it, man. Now your kinder selling the fake, but you'll notice this is just a fake. The bomb's getting ready to go away. Your kinder throws some more util, he spams a smoke, and then he backs out. He doesn't even die. I love it. Not committing. And now NIP realize, but they will realize late. Device back in CT gets a quick pick, and Rez helps out as well. 15 seconds, and it's falling apart at the seams. Device will die, but can they really get a bomb part? I don't think so. Bobski's here to say no, and Kicker will trade, but he's down to four. Yeah, he's got a plan now, and they're just rushing him. They're not giving him the room. Hampus cancels him out. They don't have the smokes to cancel off these angles, so they've just got to plant and keep an eye on CT. Eyeballing the bomb plant. It's scary. The flash is good, but no one's Ooh. able to capitalize. Jame and Sanji are actually the first to break the silence. They've turned this nip retake into dust. Plopsky's oh, dropped no. out what? on triple, what? but they're all running. They're all like getting ready to go hunt. Oh, it's gotten weird. It's gotten odd. It should still be fine. And indeed it is. But as pro up onto 13. Tris, it's not where you want to be. But even so, it's a little bit scary there for a second. NIP have a window of opportunity, but still a VP round. Hampers fast through lower. So quick, in fact. VP might not be ready for it. There's the first. Jame can't trade either, and he doesn't want to make matters worse. So he lets the guy get away out of lower. 
it's good he escapes because if you remember the first round that VP got on this comeback was Rez going into middle, getting a kill, and then doubling down and looking for more and giving the trade up. It's like Hampus escaping there is so important. Now VP have nothing but the B site. They're down two men. They're just piling in. They're walking into the lion's den, and there's three CTs here. Crossfire plus Hampus with the AK. It's done. NIP, it took some time, but 15 will do. At this point, NRP, they've seen this play before this game. They know what to expect. B execute smokes in. They dive through this CT smoke. Sanji leading the charge, and he catches two players with their back turned. Linus holds for one. Trapped to the bench behind the smoke and drops the bomb as well. What a hero. Yeah, he's still going. Still alive in this position. Yakinda trying to make a round winning play. Pushed up through the site. And now Hampus dancing around smokes again. He's calling for his teammate. He needs help from Rez. Rez is dead on the rotate. And Hampus now asked to clutch 1v1. Just Jane to find. Only a USP of one bullet in the AK. It's been given time to reload. Oh. James giving him a chance. And it's a chance that maybe should have never been given away. 16 to 14, Hampus with a 1v2 to find NIP their map pick. Yeah, at least I'm assuming that that's what these <laughs> other two are going to do. They ain't even budging yet. They will start to make their way around. Even wrapping through CT spawn on Sanji. So he's ripe to do some damage in a round like this. Nice kill from Buster. Further taking away the likelihood of a retake here for NIP. Just Linus and Device. And even... Well, maybe Linus can make it no interesting. Way. They're getting on the Don't bomb. Linus is sticking it. Sanji going to get them off. And Ooh. Vertis Pro, they do find the pistol after all. Whoa. And this adventure could be huge in the grand scheme of this round. As they're rotating in, even though they know they've given up long, they're not ready for him here. And Cerez is cut down in CT. Now the alarm bells are going off for an IP. They think Ooh. it's going to be an A play. And Soplopsky fast rotates through Banana into VP, who is still holding T spawn. Sanji oh. yet to die. And Hampus ain't changing that anytime soon. Back to B they go. Linus is not getting away with this gun. Oh, he slipped the net, but not for long. Good shot, but they're everywhere, around every corner. Jane with a headshot through the wall, and VP up 4-0. and Goes to say that, yeah, no surprise to NIP, a heavy B, straight out of spawn right, throwing in the util, going about the motions, as many CT teams often will. Yeah. And so VP just gamble, they, they make the read. And so here we go, they're taking this top mid control. While this is going on, Nip are trying to retake Banana. That's at least something for them. The VPR out on the long side. Rez doesn't oh. know anything about numbers yet, but the flash wow. in for him is perfect from Device. A big little double play between Device and Rez at long, and they're going to lock in the round on the back of it. The rifles come out in round number six, and now start to call for rotations. That bomb not planted yet. Device, Deeg, Spam, and Plopsky going to drop the bomb out ruin side. That's quickly retrieved by Sanji. You don't want to lose that bomb. You don't want to lose track of it. He grabs the plant, and Device is caught with the Spam. For Linus and Rez, they're very, very late into this one. Kickert's even holding for the late banana flank. And if he gets this kill, what? it's not coming through. But Rez is ready. Linus, dead to Sanji. And they know where Rez is. They've got him pinned over at banana. Even though he's created space, Sanji is there to lock the round in. The VP take the V plate. Time to run. Double smoke. Smokes it down, yeah. Plopski could get spammed out. The tags have hit, and Buster will delete him through the smoke. Amper's still up on the boost, goes unchecked, and takes one out of the round. Buster and Sanji left in a two-on-four. They have a bomb plant. That is the only thing going their way. NIP set up to retake this one. A lot of utility as well to force these gunfights out of Vertus Pro. You can make them feel very uncomfortable. This is going to be rough for Buster and Sanji. There's the early swing. Nothing found. Buster good for one, but he's double peaked from the ruins. And Linus plays that to perfection with his teammates by his side. Rushing down. 
Yeah, look, you're seeing the other VP players falling back and looking to follow through on this B play with Plopski giving that early fight over. They're more enticed now than ever. They've tasted oh. the blood in the water and they want more. Wiping Hampus oh, out oh, oh, oh. and through the smokes again. What? Device given a taste of his own medicine, perhaps. It's Virtus Pro up onto seven. Okay, James saves. That's you know, the one thing we can always rely on. That's twice now uh, that, that you know we've had this quick B pick from VP, and you know Plopsky playing in front of the banana smoke, trying to fight for it. And it's that death that really spurs on the victory for Virtus Pro. Yeah, now Device is in the same spot, but far better gun for the job. And they just heard Norp A as well, so do they realize that that's a different orb? They're about to find out the hard way, walking into the angle, Rez. Oh, not quite good for two. Yeah, it's always a little spooky when someone's got an out past you. Yeah? There it is again. Shame. Removing Plopsky from that same position, and now Sanji's dropped Linus in the apartments. Oh, no. This was a good start for an IP that's very quickly turned sour. We're looking at Hampus to try and be the man to save the day. And with that kill onto Sanji, maybe there's hope after all. Hampus hears them running up the short side and he flashes himself in, but doesn't commit to the peak right away. Hampus hoping for a kill, nothing getting delivered. It's up to Device. Hunting with a missed shot, might want to save here. Time is ticking and opportunities are fleeting here for the ninjas. Warbang won't connect. Hampus with a swing. And it's all getting a bit uncomfortable now for NIP. They're going to get the kill. Buster, just a few seconds stalling will do enough, but he can't get the kill to Device. And NIP are on the bomb with just enough time. It's going to be a third round. Nice patience from Hampus, man. Once again, it's double orb set up. Oh, was good hell. to find the openers last time, but missed shots out of res. He's getting a little stressed up here in the apartments. Oh, bye-bye. Sanji's deeg. That's the Sanji effect, man. Give this guy $700. He turns it into $5,000. Oh, oh he's, he's going for more. Well. Sanji, oh. Sanji's is just tearing through them. Now he's got an AWP to play with. They've given him the big money. They've given him the big cash. And Sanji, with a smile on his face, has torn this round away from NIP with nothing more than a deeg and armor behind it. And so the save has to be called in for an IP. It's not like they're rich either, right? They're not saving into a, another buy round. They're just saving because that's all they're going to have in the follow-up. Sanji ruining their economy on an eco win here for VP. They had uh, enough of them on Mirage. Yeah, any round is winnable. But this one shouldn't be. And Jane with that kill has possibly saved the day. Sanji's about to get this information. And now they go B because they've spotted everybody over here in top middle. I got to say, there's a fairly fast T side, not even this round, but just this half of VP. It's actually surprisingly like concise. They, they know exactly what they're doing. It does help that they've been constantly getting these B picks, right? Like Kicker entering round after round and just finding uh, openers and VP just going, well, we may as well just execute. NIP have never stacked this bomb site. Pushing the T's. Yeah, man, I should give them like, the round, why don't we? Okay. Shane, Shane will sit on ramp with the orb and he won't even fight mid. He'll just fight for the aggro. Yeah, but NIP know that as much as VP do. They've already got that third player back here. Linus in the pit, gonna have to do something miraculous. Device is dead already. Reds through the smoke with a double and Linus on an off angle. They might not expect it. They've already killed a pit player. They haven't seen a thing from Linus. He did drop his smoke, do they know? They're taking their time, 10 seconds. You've got to go off your VP. You need that plant. Linus, can he deny in time? Killing the planter and getting a chance here for VP. It might just be the round for NIP. Ooh, Ooh. I think Jane got blocked. I don't think there's time. Yeah. Wow. He got stuck on Sanji. Through the smokes into the site. Kicker trying to lead the charge. Nip rotating players Ooh. over. A shot from Device, but the kills have got to come in for VP. They're running out of time, and Device finally dealt with, but there's more where that came from. Kick hurts oh. out of ammo and out of time as well. Buster all the way in CT spawn can't do a thing. And so NIP secure five to close out this first half. 
flanking the B Ampers. play. This is so weird. This is so uncomfortable. Look at that mini map. Yeah, MIP have the B bomb site, but Hampus has no idea that they are so far oh, down. They've missed him as well. Hampus now. Go. Now he knows. Now Hampus knows. Surely, come on. Hampus could tear the entire round away. It could have been a series of missed timings, but oh, oh. no, Jame, you little rat man. Turns around, flushes Hampus out. And now the retake is well and truly underway. Linus and Plopsky, the only two left. And look at them, they're boxed into a tiny little corner. The bomb's planted for them, but is that going to be enough? Oh. Kicker is sticking it, and Linus can't do a damn thing. Burr's wow. pro. That pistol round, that pistol round, that's crazy. A really good position despite the scoreline not being nice to them. They could definitely break the money and get back into this game, but they'd have to win this round, and that feels all too good to be true. VP muscle their way down middle, something that NIP didn't try once in their CT side. VP do it immediately, and look at the uh, room that Sanji's gained. He's about to find the bomb before they do, and they're scared of it, This right? is so weird. Yeah, look, Plopsky's having a turn and looking away at everything, and so he's blindsided by Sanji. Ampus is now like, wait, they're in our spawn? Oh, VP. But as Pro are calling for the entire changing of the guard, they're bringing everyone around to be. Oh, more mollies, more flashes, more everything that you don't want if you're NIP. Buster's pushing a smoke. He's finally put down by Popsky. Grabbing a gun, Popsky, this could be his round here. It's time for a hero for NIP. Sanji, the smoke fade almost doubles up, but he's done good work. Bomb is loose, and forget the plant. NIP are looking for kills. Flash is good, but Jame up close and catching Hampus as the smoke fades leaves Popsky in an important clutch. 1v2, Jame rerouting, trying to double peek with his teammate, and Popsky knows he's got to hit the headshots, though. Needs precision. There's the first. Jame, now he loves these rounds. He loves these clutches, and that's why. Then you look at the guy who's up against you in the 1v1. It's Jame, and the scariest thing about being up against Jame is not only is he great at landing shots like this, and he gets out scot-free. Now back into the stack, go NIP. Back into three. Sanji stalling, but he's not going to last long. And Popsky with a double entry may have just saved the day. Nice try by Buster, but now Rez is in the 1v1. Jame, he's already picked up one of these before. Can he do it again? Look at him. Cyclops, man. Creeping on up with the orb. Scoped all the way back in CT, so he's not making any noise cues. Rez still adamant it is this long flank holding for it. Sees the head. Both players miss the opportunity. Rez, oh. there's the swing. And the 1v1 closed out by NIP. NIP have been trying to do since the second round, right? Like these constant forces, constantly buying Tech 9 armor nades. And it worked eventually. Cost them a few rounds in the process, but here they are. And also, Plopsky, very, very slow first half. He's recovered really well. NIP laying, laying up smokes real quick towards A. Now, they don't know. Banana's been taken. They're looking at it, right? They're considering this, but Yakinda goes through the smoke, and he gets a kill as well. Yakinda, he's been quiet, but he is not fearful. He is full send right down on the flank, and NIP, as a result, had to activate into the A site. They do well getting another entry, and device posted deals with Buster re-aggressing. Yakinda was low, and so he'll choose to save, and Kicker joins him with Jane's AWP. You know what is there right now? The recovery from NIP, the comeback. Yeah. And, and honestly, you know, you're talking about your kinder. I think he's going to be a very key piece of this puzzle. You know, we so often say that the hardest thing about playing against this VPCT side is like if they get a man advantage, it's so hard to reclaim that. This is it, though, man. Big stack. If you can't hold this VP, what can you do, right? You've got everybody, not everybody, but you've got the majority here. Is it going to be the case that majority rules? Rez dead in the open. They do deal with your kinder and they turn it on as well. But Buster with the lineup has left it just on device. He was tagged up earlier on at the utility fight on Banana. But also he has so much more room to move around it. Starting to take some long control. James Orp is on the angle playing with fire. And James, the collateral comes through. Is he going for more? Oh, he is. Three in the round. Big James bringing the pain. And he's even looking for more.
Yeah, just about finishing the job here. No one's peeking, right? Device is searching for a kill with his orb, but even Sanji in the pit is just covering the cross for Yakinda. This is beautiful for VP. They're making NIP commit or save. You've got to go with the flash. Device with the check, but there's still Sanji to worry about who's dropped kicker. Device has the bomb, but he has no mo uh, room to move. Ollie is good. Shot connects, but they're chasing Device down. And even though he hits the third through the pillar, it makes no difference. 15 for VP. Jane finds four. And even then, Yakindar's still hanging around. This is ballsy, Ooh, no. but he's good for a second. And at this point, hell, it's been worth it. He could get even more with these two players both tagged up. Oh, he will. Yakindar tearing it away from NIP. Device and Linus left alive. The bomb's back in T spawn. I think the reality might be setting in for the ninjas that this one is going to a third. It's a done deal. It's a three mapper. It's VP fighting back on their pick. And even though NIP had a bit of a comeback, it's all in vain. Versus Pro, 16 to 11, a statement on Inferno and Overpass, as said, where this series will culminate. It's going to be a banger. You don't want to miss it. So come back after the break. Let's see if they're up for the task. CT for VP, NIP, B rush, and here they come. Oh, there's a big stack here for VP. That's an awkward flash kicker. And Buster, good for a killer piece. In come the ninjas, getting closer. They don't know about Buster on the short side yet. And oh, he's going to drive one into the back of the skull of Linus. Just Plopsky, the only man between VP and a dominant pistol round. And there they are. He's on long. It's a hard spot to clear for NIP. They've got to focus on the site first, but Jame from the sidelines could drop the bomb. Quick fight taken. Device lives, and Plopsky bails him out. MP9 up close and trying to make it work. Does some damage to Kicker. Yakinder on the flank spots. Toilets aggro as well. There's everyone inside here for NIP. Oh, he's read it. He knows the flank's coming in. One for Yakinder, and now a little bit more, maybe. Jumping around the corner, and only Rez left up. He might get cleared. He will. Yakinder... Quiet on Inferno, but coming in with a bang on Overpass. They'll hear the drop, so they know they've been spotted. And ooh, just dodging the nade. Oh, that's a kill. That's one way to start. Device digging Jane with the AWP. Bye-bye. They seem to know as well. If sight's so clear, where could that A player be? Oh, oh. dear. Still, I mean, that was a headshot dink out of res through the wall and the spot. And this spot is perhaps the most important part. They just pressure your kinder, isolate that one engagement. Yeah, and now it's it a save for VP. And even NIP don't hunt here. They just let their money build up. They let VP stew in it. Oh. <laughs> They're trying to run up now. Swapping out with Jane, but it might be all too late. 30 seconds, the Molly's in. You kind of need something massive, and he gets domed by Linus. With that, that might be the round. Jane's gone all the way around the world, though, and so now they're suddenly invested. Kicker's got a kill. They might try and plant for sure. They haven't got CT yet. Perhaps he's trying to take it, and he's died. Oh, my goodness. VP have made this Jane, round possible. James long now, right? They just saw him in the site, and he's already wrapping them. He's out maneuvered the lone device. Will he be ready for the long peak? He's got the orb. Orb's been retrieved. Jane oh. went to go find it, and it's Buster winning the round. What? There's only a headshot angle to stop you from short players. So, yeah, that, that's... Oh, okay, that's one way to get a pick. Ampus tapping Jame out. And the orb is gone again. Your kind has picked it back up. And Jame has been getting bullied a little bit here. But your kind has got something to say about it, making up for his captain's departure from the round. And he's got a nice little gap on this smoke as well. Flashed off for now. Sanji's also here and those CTs are coming up the stairs to Yakinda. Oh, they jump over his shot. There's a player up close. Rez is pa uh, panic spraying and Yakinda is still in the smoke. Totally overwhelmed, but the trades are good for VP. They had four players there, all too convinced, all too confident. Well, it was their T sides that really were the bread and butter, were the things to look out for. So this is a scary slow start, but it could be an explosion into the B-bomb site. Kicker holding on in the Molotov for a kill. Buster has the water control, but NIP realize B is very clear. They should have their wits about them and realize that this position is not controlled. Oh, the bomb denied. Oh, okay. Rez dead on the site. And now Buster's been given room to move on the flank. They're not considering it. Backstab missed, and they jump around the pillar. Plopsky with a big flank from Monster should have Buster dead to right. It's 
his team to hold on, but he misses, <gasps> and Buster flicks back to boost up for Jane, drops the bomb again, and it's only Linus in a one on three. Oh, this is so awkward, man. It feels like nothing has gone right for NIP. They get the openers, but everything else falls apart, and Linus is cancelled out as well. Vertus Pro. Everyone's full of opinions once the round is lost. No yep. one's given that insight when it's live. <laughs> And so it's another B-Rush, another mow down for Buster. No, denied. Instead, Sanji and Kicker Ooh. make quick work of the B play. Just Hampus, the bomb, not going to get planted here, you imagine. Sanji could give this fight over. Okay. Maybe gives Hampus a way back in. 1v2 is an awful lot more winnable than a 1v3. And it gives you a lot more room as well. Hampus just looking for the kill before he plants. Going to go for the right side instead. He can get swung from CT. James not going for it yet. It's walking out. Oh, Hampers, give it a chance. And he takes the headshot to Yakinda. Back to the Deagle now. James moving up with a pistol of his own. And Hampers has swapped back to the primary. He's out on his left. And he's too slow to react. James winning a 1v1. Nothing surprising about that statement. But he does get out alive. James in the connector. And they're walking up on him as well. Of course, he reacts in time, getting that quick shot. And he can escape. He can go B. He can push through Con. He can just stay alive. And NIP, without connect control, don't want to hunt him down. They're just going to commit to the top site. It's almost infuriated how good Jame is staying alive, right? They can't deal with him. NIP just decide we won't deal with him. We'll commit to this A play. But Vertus Pro are here with three, and there's more coming. There's more on the rotations. Ampus not ready for a second oh. player in a truck. And so Kicker mows them down. Way earlier and probably had a double kill. NIP were just trying to smoke the molly. Aggro. Held by Hampus, denied by Buster, and James trapped in the connector. He's trying to get that kill quick before he gets locked in for the top, and he hits the shot with a no-scope. Molly from his teammate. <laughs> James don't care. He's now got control of the bomb, although he doesn't know it. He's in a race against time, against Device and Rez, going back to pick it up. James Tuck. You don't expect this. He's a dead man. You don't expect James doing that, and it would have never happened if it wasn't for his teammate's <laughs> Molotov. <laughs> James is like just hitting every kind of timing. Now, this is one that he surely misses, right? James surely. Oh yes. my word, how does he do it? How does he do it? No matter how hard you try, even the things that go wrong for James <laughs> send him on a path to success. Campus, how much can he sell the fake? Can he do anything? Just by being here, he's kept three on this upper site. Kicker and Buster, both 12 kills apiece, are solely responsible for B right oh. now. And they are just churning through NIP. They walk into just two players and they can't break through. Vertus Pro onto 11. You fully bait VP into the stack on A and still you don't even get a kill in B. You get completely ruined. No bomb plot, no money, no rounds. Triple A setup, your Kindar waiting at long. He drops that oh. smoke, <laughs> but still removes Hampus. So a man down for an IP. And from bad to worse, it's more of the meat grinder. More of this just relentless AK spam to find 12 for Verta's Pro. And now he's opened up the potential of an A play. You've still got to get past your Kinder. That is easier said than done. <gasps> oh, no. They're, they're going, going B. back down con. They're going to let this man at long sell a fake. Rez is in A and he's calling. I don't see anyone, guys. I wonder if this puts a seed of doubt in the mind of NIP, especially with him getting kills up on A. This is awkward. Rez has got the A bomb site, and yet still they're going into this double hold. The bomb's cut loose. It's just device in a 1v2. They had a, but they didn't have this bomb there. So we look to the vice. We say, come on, oh, can he do oh, it? But Sanji just wide swings him from Monster. And the round is Virtus Pros. How telegraphed will this be? Molly starting to go over. NIP going to hit the go button. They're going to go fast. Oh, and kick her with the mow down. Not a good look, not a good start. Device reclaims one, but is that going to be enough? They lose Hampus. They're looking for anything, but they can't find it. Just Device. Vertus Pro about to 14-1 the half, wow. and there it is. <laughs> oh, is this how it ends for NIP? Not with some kind of comeback, but with a whimper. NIP heavy in middle, VP going back to B. It's going to get spotted. Plopsky is here. Oh, they jump him. So he's got the info, but he's not got the kills. The first will be found by Hampus, but the B site is taken. No kit for this retake. Nothing but armor for NIP. 
that could get problematic. It's a safe plant. Device on the big flank and Chame is in spawn. <laughs> yeah, he's waiting. Oh, how enraged would you be if your device, a million dollar man removed from this round. And so now NIP look down the ranks. It's the remaining four to try and move in. Your Kindar was boosted into heaven. Anywhere you go, VP are already there, planting the flag of Virtus Pro in this pistol. Just one Whoa. man left. And yeah, oh. it's ugly. It's not pretty. Rez has been oh. given a chance. The bomb's not planted for heaven, but he doesn't have a kit. And so he needs your Kindar to take this fight. He's just not giving it to him. <laughs> your Kindar salt in the wound. Rez gets all the kills, but round 15 goes to Virtus Pro. And devices now looking like they're going to follow in quite a fashion. No one could have predicted this as our third map. Nova? Oh. oh, dealt with by Buster. A three on three to decide the outcome of this map. This series. This entire group stage, Harry. It hangs in the balance right now. NIP are oh, coming up connector. That's going to give them a fast flank on this A attack. An attack that they expect to be coming. Rez is going to confirm, killing Jame at range. Buster's up close, though. He's going to get flashed. He's in front of it, and Buster not ready for the fight. Rez takes the win and leaves Sanji in the wind. 1v3, a minute on the clock. They're even re-aggroing. Uh-oh. I don't know if he'll be ready for Rez. Yeah, just going to sideline him. All right, NIP, they win the fourth, but... If anyone's sitting here rubbing their hands together going, oh, here we go, boys. This is it. We're right back in. Yeah, no mistakes can be made, though, here for NIP. They've got to be picture perfect. Yeah, being real, man. It's at times like this for, for guys like Linus, right? You're, you're going to ask this dude to dig incredibly deep if you really believe that you can make this comeback happen. You learn through doing it. Uh, likely going to be done to you instead. Buster with a deeg grabs Device's M4. He's going to get pushed by Rez, though. Nice tag, nothing more. Kick it alone at B. No bomb. No reason to go back for it either. Accepting the reality and taking Linus down with him. Yeah, man, get your head back in the game, but it's actually been torn off. VP demanding the lunch money of NIP. Well, they hand it over. Oh, five-man boost employed, James. Oh. Collects his freebie, and it's a huge man to find. Rez, as the only player in double digits, almost 20 kills deep, snuffed out of the round without even getting to play. So we need a new hero. We need a new point man device down low, up in party, trying to hold on. And Hampus falls in middle in the meantime. Sanji cancels him out. And is this now the beginning of the end? NIP, we're down to a two on two. Plopsky, the only man with HP, oh, no. isn't able to win his fight in middle. And so it's young gun Linus. Linus got loads of nades here to take down either of these two players. Here comes Buster. Linus, does he check the corner? Nah, Sanji's position, man, is to win the round. And we're there it is. But as pro, they lock it in. They're going to the playoffs. Woo! They send that IP pack in in quite the fashion.